My name's Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? Yes, I am. May I see your credentials? Yeah. Certainly. Closer, please. Closer. That expires in one week. You're not real FBI, are you? Um, I'm still in training at the Academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I want to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether I'm qualified enough to do that. Mm. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. Sit. Please. Well, tell me. What did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, I can smell your cunt. I see. I myself cannot. You wear Evian skin cream, and sometimes you wear L'Air du Temps, but not today. These drawings, are they all yours? Ah. That is the Duomo, as seen from the Belvedere. You know Florence? All that detail, just from memory. Memory, Agent Starling, is what I have instead of you. Ah, well, maybe you'd be so kind as to view this questionnaire, no, no, please. No, 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 you were doing fine. You've been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You'd established trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs, and this ham-handed seg into your questionnaire, it won't do. Look, I'm only asking you to look at this. Either you will or you won't. Yeah, Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he's recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why they call him Buffalo Bill? Please, tell me. The newspapers won't say. Well, it started as a joke in the Kansas City homicide. They said he likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Thrill me with your acumen. It excites him. Most serial killers, they like to keep a trophy of some sort from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. You can send that through. Oh, Agent Starling. You think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No, I thought with your knowledge. You're so ambitious, aren't you? You know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you're trying so desperately to shed pure West Virginia. What was your father, dear? Was he a coal miner? Did he stink of the lamp? To know how quickly the boys found you. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars while you could only dream of getting out. Getting anywhere. Getting all the way to the FBI. You see a lot, Doctor. But are you prepared to point the high perception at yourself? How about it? Take a look at yourself and write down what you see. Are you afraid to? A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Fly back to school, little starling. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Agent Starling? Agent Starling? I would not have had that happen to you. This courtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Take this test for me then, please. No, but I will make you happy. I'll give you a chance for what you love most. What's that? Advancement, of course. Look deep inside yourself, Clarice Starling. 
Go seek Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M-O-F-E-T. Go now. I don't think Migs can manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Do you?